What is going on guys, Zip of Rage Quit TV? We have a ZVZ for you now. It is Gerbil versus Mystic, and I'll be honest, ZVZ is the matchup I know least about. It is my worst matchup. So, yeah, that's about it. I don't exactly know what these players will be doing. I'll be watching this and maybe doing a little bit more analytical as I try to learn the ZVZ match about myself. But hey, it's like learning PvP back before 4Gate got nerfed and trying to learn out how to beat a 4Gate. It just doesn't happen. ZVZ is one of those matches that can be very, very difficult to get into the mid game. It just becomes a micro war of bling bling for some time. You go roaches. Then the other player can just take a few bases on you, but it is Taldra and Malta, so taking these extra bases will be a little bit more difficult than most maps. Just because there's no real safe third base unless you take out these rocks, which takes some time. And meanwhile, you have 12 food right now out for Gerbil, so it looks like he will be going for a 12, uh, 12 pool before Overlord. And is this going to be cheese? I don't know. The pool is coming down, so he's at 11 supply right now. We'll be doing an extractor. So this may be like a super, oh no, double extractor trick again. And he's going to keep this one. So this could be like a super early baneling play. We do have Mystic with a gas right now at 14. Going to be getting a spawning pool at 14 as well. And going to go for a standard speedling opener. This is one of the more common openers in ZVZ, the common non-cheesy openers, I should say. This, I have no clue what Gerbil is doing. So we'll see if he just goes for a Banelings nest immediately after this pool finishes and just goes for like slow lings and Banelings, which can be good. It's going to be coming out a very odd time, no matter what he does. He's getting his queen now. Getting two lings out so he can go scout. The Overlord haven't crossed path this way, so he has like a 50-50 chance that the Zerg player is not in this position. And he's getting four lings right now. His opponent, Mystic's Pool, is now just finishing. Speed has started for Gerbil. Going to the worker tab, it is 12 to 15, so Gerbil behind by three workers. Going into this loss tab, it's 18. So we'll see exactly how this ends up playing. Ling's running all around to try to find his opponent. He could just come in with a lot of Ling's because he doesn't find him at this base. If he keeps building Ling's, I mean, he may just hit this l little funky timing where he has eight Ling's that go undiscovered that just randomly appear inside of Mystic's base, but Mystic's sending out Ling's of his own. And Mystic is also getting a Bailing's Nest while Gerbil is not. And now these two lings are going to catch these two lings off guard. They can just run back, go back home. And you have four lings coming in. That's going to be completely unscouted. But I think there are more lings in the back, so... It's just going to be a lot of mini ling wars everywhere on this map. And the difference is Gerbil won't have Bane lings, while Mystic will. So will Gerbil's micro be good enough to just... Bypass getting banelings or not, we'll find out. And a lot of these links could be stopped. The speed will finish from Gerbil just a few seconds before Mystic. And now speed finishes. Will he take out some links? Uh, speed now just finishing for Mystic. And a banelings are morphing. Two banelings morphing somewhere. Right up here in the front. So it's going to be these guys that need to do a lot. And oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Those links are walking very thin line right now. Some impressive micro coming across, but there's a lot of banelings he has to worry about. And one baneling goes down, and oh, uh, that one takes out a lot of lings. And now there's more lings for Mystic than Gerbil, so Gerbil has to leave. Going to the worker tab, it is 12 to 13 still. More lings do come in, but keep in mind there's a banelings he has to avoid. And oh man, those Banelings got very close that time. More and more Lings coming out. More Banelings for Mystic. And here we go. He's about to turn around. Those Lings realizing they're getting far away from the Baneling counterparts. And oh, these Banelings could just die. They do get cancelled. And he is going to try to finish one off. He does get that. And there's a few Banelings out. And one goes down. Takes out a few Lings. But it looks like Dribble just has more Lings. But Mystic has more Lings actually because he has a lot back at home. 14 to 11, that's why I'm keeping the unit counting station normally up so you can see that count. 10 on the way for Dribble, 10 on the way for Mystic now. There's Banelings getting very, very close to Dribble's base and needs to send one Ling at a time to attack those Banelings. 
And it looks like he's doing just that. He has expanded. And those banelings are still up and... Will this expansion be the thing that kills him? Or maybe it's going to be the not getting banelings that kills him. Ling's now taking the spine claw, but it looks like Jubal has more lings. He's taking them out, but a baneling does come. Disperses all those lings, and they do just keep running back, trying to kite. And here we go. One baneling does come in, and the lings immediately turn around. Mystic does see that he does have his hatch, I mean, just about finished. And he has just kept building more and more lings. 22 out versus the 17 with those three banelings. More banelings are morphing in. And this is looking pretty grim for Jubal. Dribble does have Banley's Nest finally coming up, and oh my god, as soon as I went away, the Banley explosions happened, but it doesn't look like too many Lings have went down. And oh, there's another Banley for one Ling, and Dribble doing a very good job playing Ling around the hatchery. And oh my god, some great micro coming out from Dribble, saves that hatch, and uh, defends against those Banelings perfectly, it looks like. But will it be enough that hatch still taking a lot of damage? Spine Caller is moving. That hatch again, very, very low. The queen going to come down and try to transfuse the hatch. It looks like, no, she injects love on it. It's going to go down anyways. Oh, a transfuse would have been much better than the inject. Sure, you may get more love, but hey, that inject goes away if your hatch does die. These lings are coming in, and lings do run back, and more and more lings coming out from Mystic. He's just like, I'm going to build lings, and that's going to be the it. But now Dribble does have a Banelink coming out of his own, going to the unit tab of uh, 14 gems to 13 gems. So even though he lost that hatch, I'm going to say it wasn't that big of a loss. And that was kind of silly. A lot of Lings died to that one Banelink there. Lings running in, going to try to get good position, get a nice surround temporarily. Mystic does have, oh no, that's Dribble's Banelings. That dude gets around and one goes down, and the second one does go down as well. The Queen coming out to help. And that queen looks like she will be falling. More links coming in. That queen does get surrounded. And Jumbo does throw the GG. Mystic is victorious.